just received the November MTV box and I'm super excited to go over this one with you. I've already opened it and looked in what's inside and to be honest, so far, this is actually my favorite MTV box. <clears throat> Let's get inside. So first and foremost, we have the card. Uh, they've actually changed the box design a little bit. It's no longer the same as it once was. Um, I'm assuming it's a cost issue for them. The other boxes were much larger, but had a lot of empty space. So now the boxes are a little bit smaller, but still have the opening <coughs> uh, where you can still measure the fish and do all the things that you did before. So that's pretty cool. But they were able to kind of obviously come up with a way to save a little bit of money, which is good for them. They need to, you know, there's always in these boxes, there's over $40 worth of stuff for a $25 buy. So for them, they have to make money somewhere. I want them to, it's, it's good for them. So in the card, they've now removed the normal small card and have put it together with their Dibble, um, which is like their kind of like instruction booklet on how to use certain things. Uh, on the back, it tells you how you can enter the different contests to get MTV credit uh, and you know different questions and things like that. So super cool that they've made that adjustment. So we're gonna jump right into here and start looking at uh, what we received. First and foremost is the Booyah One Knocker. Which will be Booyah One Knocker, which is going to be this little crankbait. Um, wow, this is pretty cool. So I actually really like the way this looks. It's nice and small, so it's going to work great on like the ponds and stuff that I'm often fishing. This is listed at $7.99, so it's got like a very much of a bluegill look to it. And I think this is going to be a really good pick. Uh, especially when spring kicks back up. It's 32 degrees outside right now. The ponds are freezing over. It was 19 degrees yesterday. So we're running out of fishing. I mean, I'm almost pretty much done for the year, uh, but I will still be doing the openings and I'm gonna be doing a lot more foosball videos. So the one knocker, I, I love that already. Uh, next up is the heavy metal tungsten finesse football jig. This I'm excited about too. I love, football jigs to begin with. So getting a new jig for me is like Christmas morning. Uh, this little guy from Heavy Metal with a heavy tungsten um, football head, I'm really looking forward to using as well. This is super cool. It's got a great little color to it. It's got uh, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, a uh, nice little weed guard on it, and it's a football head. So this is gonna be a nice little small bait. I could probably get away with throwing this in certain ponds even right now and probably catch some fish when the ice comes off of the top. But here in Chicagoland, it's cold all the time. So we get no love. Next up is the Smart Beats Mighty Minnow. <clears throat> and these are pretty awesome looking. It looks like this is a four pack. Yep, four pack. And this is a cool little minnow here. Uh, this is going to work great with if you have like a weighted hook or you just want to, you know, use it on maybe like a drop shot. This would be a big drop shot lure, but uh, it's pretty neat. It's got a great little color to it, a little green, a little bit of like a pink belly. So this is going to look really good in clear water for you. It's not going to do too well if you have dark water uh, or anything like that. So great little lure for, uh, for what this is. And they actually give you... Let me find it here. Uh, this little, what they call a donkey rig terminal tackle piece. So <clears throat> what you do with this is it comes with two swivel hooks and two four-odd hooks as well. You actually use the two swivel hooks to almost make an, umbre or a, an umbrella rig off of the two pieces. So uh, you can actually see it here on the back. And with this, you, you know, this isn't going to work for like tournaments or anything like that, but to possibly catch some extra fish, this is definitely going to be a great piece to use. So I am going to be trying this as soon as uh, the water cleans up a little bit and there's no longer ice on top of my ponds. But really looking forward to it. So two four-out hooks, two swivels, uh, the donkey rig terminal. So that'll be awesome to use with these. It is designed to work hand in hand. So this is essentially a swim bait in a really cool color. Uh, they make a whole bunch of different like lures and sizes and stuff. Uh, did this list a color on it? I don't see one. You know, I really wish people would list their, co their the color of the baits a little bit better. Uh, to me, 
you got to list it, guys. If you're a company out there and you're somehow watching this video, which I highly unlikely think you would be doing, list it somewhere big so we can see the colors. Come on. That's what we want. We want to know what we're throwing. Uh, I kind of jumped around there a little bit, so hopefully I won't miss too much. Uh, next up is the Berkeley Dinger. Berkeley Dinger. Here we go. Ooh. The Berkeley Dinger 8.5. So this is definitely going to be like an aggressive wobble, side flashing lure. Looks like it can dive pretty deep. Does it list? Oh yeah. It's got a slow rise to it and it goes about eight and a half feet deep. Uh, this is going to look like a bluegill. It's got a really big lip on it, so you can really get deep down inside. Uh, this is going to be great, you know, if you find some really deep weeds. Uh, you can get this across the top of them. Anytime it's a real deep body of water. Looks like a really cool lure. Uh, sounds like it has a rattle in it as well. So this is going to actually get uh, some great hookups on some deep water. I think I'm going to have to go out to Whalen Lake to find some deep water, although the, the parts on it that are deep are really weedy. So that's going to be pretty tricky, but I'm looking forward to that. Next up, we have the Bailey Shallow Balsa Shad. <clears throat> so this is uh, pretty shallow. This is going to run about five or three to five feet deep in the water, this Balsa Shad. Uh, to me, this actually has like a cross between a shad and a, mint and a uh, bluegill color to it. Uh, definitely has the dot like a lot of bluegills have and, uh, you know, other sunfish. So also has, it sounds like, a small rattle in it maybe. Uh, not too crazy, but with the bill the way that it is, it's going to get a good wobble. It's going to look really cool underwater. This is actually something I kind of want to throw really slow. I wonder if this floats. If this floats, a real good technique in, in fall is going to be a really slow roll this thing so it stays not as deep as it normally goes, but keep it right around like a foot. And in some shallow areas, you should really be able to get some hookups on this because of the way this looks. It kind of looks, like I said, like a shad. If they're eating on shad, uh, good clear water, even dark water, this should still work because it's got that white belly to it. It's going to flash underwater, especially if there's a little bit of sun out. Uh, this is going to be another good word to throw. Next up, we have the Charlie's Worms Incredible Craw. Uh, this time, I love throwing Texas rig baits, okay? And the Charlie's minnows that they, or the Charlie's worms that they throw in here are never like the sampler packs like it was with uh, smart baits. Like, this is only four pieces. This Charlie's bait has a ton, a ton of stuff in it. Um, so I'm actually super pumped to throw something a little bit smaller, and it's got a scent to it as well, a little bit smaller uh, profile for like a little craw. And I think with this color here, it's got like a little bit of red and brown in it. it uh, it's going to look really good in the water. You know, it's not uh, super thick, so when it comes across, it's going to be a little bit, um, a little bit more subtle, but I bet the claws are going to hang a little bit up in the air. So this is going to kind of skip across the bottom of the water. And you're going to be able to get a lot of good fish on this. Uh, you're probably going to want to use a smaller hook with this, not like a 3 out or a 4 out, uh, something probably like a, a worm hook, just because of how thin this is. Otherwise, it's going to sit weird under the water. Probably a pretty light um, weight as well. You're not going to want to throw like half ounce tungsten on this thing. You know, you're going to go quarter ounce, um, maybe 130 seconds even, if you have something that thin, get a spinning rod out, throw this on there. You're gonna get bites, uh, especially in some you know rocky areas, uh, right on some edges on, of rocks and things like that, where crawfish can be found. Really actually pumped to be able to start using all this stuff again, hopefully when spring comes around. Uh, everything else in the box is, let's see here. Oh, we do have a heavy metal tungsten sticker. As well, they always tend to throw us stickers, which uh, I'm a big fan of stickers. I unfortunately, never stick them on anything because I'm terrible at putting stickers on stuff. But I love stickers to begin with. Uh, they have a lot more contests than they have in the past. It seems like they really have upped their contest game, so people like you and me can uh, can win some more. Uh, money and possibly get some boxes for free. So uh, make sure you check out your social medias, throw all that kind of stuff in there as well. The total on this guys came up to 4203. For a $25 buy, 
It's a great deal. So something you're going to want to check out is the MTB Pro Boxes, or if you can't afford the Pro Box, get just one of their other variations. They have them for you know sea or uh, salt water. They have them for fresh water. You get to kind of dictate what you want them to send you by filling out their little questionnaire. They're going to guide the box more towards you and what you fish than just giving you a generalized box. Different people from different parts of the country always get different types of boxes. You know, when you see my box on my unboxing of it and see somebody else's unboxing of it, they're going to be different. They're going to have different colors, they're going to have different variations on things based upon what you filled out. So to me, that's something really cool that they gear these boxes individually for you based upon what you fish the most. So make sure you check them out, guys. Um, really, really cool stuff. Mystery Tackle Box, November. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Comment on the channel if you like these videos, guys. I need to know what else you guys want to see from me. I've got uh, a lot of stuff coming up here in the future. I'm going to be doing a lot of foosball videos now that it's winter. Uh, can't do near as much fishing videos. So keep an eye out. Please comment on the videos. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Do it. It's right there, right below. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy losing.